two pilots killed after two crop dusters collided midair in Stripland. That's north of Pleasant Grove in Sutter County. And investigators are trying to figure out if weather was a factor. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live at this tragic scene with the very latest. Marissa? Well, Sharon, the uh, Sutter County Sheriff's Office tells us that will be a major part of the FAA investigation. They'll look into whether high winds and visibility were a factor in this crash. We do know two men, both veteran pilots who knew each other, died on impact when their planes collided in midair. Here's what's left of one of them. We spoke with a friend of the victims tonight who tells us this loss will make a huge impact on such a small community. Good guys. Um... They, you know, today is a tough day for everybody because they loved what they did. Tom Bealby was close with both of these pilots, 63-year-old Brian Van Dyke and 59-year-old Burton Hoffey. He was the best man in Brian's wedding. The Sutter County Sheriff's found these planes about 200 yards apart lying in these rice fields. The victims did the same thing for years, worked as crop dusters. BLB tells us it was in their blood and they chased the adrenaline, the feeling of flying. Love for what they did. That's how he says they will be remembered. I think everybody's going to remember them as two fun guys. They like to play, you know, they love to work. Um, they're always going to be, you know, they're all going to be in everybody's hearts for a long time. Again, we came upon the scene here earlier this afternoon, a big crowd of family and friends for such a tragic crash. Again, this is just the beginning. The planes will stay here and will be watched by that CHP officer overnight as the FAA continues their investigation. They'll look into exactly how this crash happened over the next few days. Yeah, Heart-wrenching to see that plane and our hearts go out to those families. Marissa, thank you.